Hello again to our Westlaco ISD educators. I'm Julie Kelly, the Instructional Technology Strategist for Westlaco ISD. This tutorial is part two of developing your Google Classroom skills. And in part two, I'm going to uh, showcase what Google Classroom looks like from the student view. So once you've set things up as a teacher, how they are seen by the students. So at this time, I'm going to go ahead and switch my monitor over to Google Classroom Student View. Give me a moment. Demo 3 Classroom that I used for the teacher view, but now I'm in as a student called Demo User. And so let me show you what Google Classroom looks like for Demo User. Um, on the home page of Google Classroom, the student will see the title. And then as a teacher, I went back in and made the Google Meets link visible to students. And so it is right here on the home page there where the student can join your Google Meets session. And when you toggle that off so that it's no longer visible to students, this part of the banner for your uh, classroom page will no longer show a link. But uh, I, I set it to visible so that you can see what it looks like for the students. And there's the stream. Uh, like teacher view, it's, there's no organization. It's just a long list of all the activity that has been taking place. Classwork. Here's what it looks like from student view, the same as teacher view. And here's the section where uh, we listed the class material. And this, if you click on that, you can see that we said this is where we we're going to hold the class rules, the syllabus, the online text. Um, I did not add any of those materials, but if you did, the students would click on View Material, and then those materials would show up here. But uh, if you'll recall, I didn't add anything. And then, of course, there's the stream for class comments. So if anybody's got questions or comments about your online materials, they can uh, post it in this section, and everybody in the class would see it classwork and then scrolling down I did add two assignments under rocks the first was the rock video there's the video I want them to watch it is assigned the directions that I typed in so you'll have your students click on view assignment and when they click on view assignment they have the uh, ability then to see the class comments if there's a discussion going on related to this video. It wants to send you a private comment, a one-to-one -one communication about this video. Here's where the student would do that. And then I set this up so that after the student watches the video, they would go ahead and mark it as done. All they need to do is click on it, mark as done, and Again, do you want to mark it as done so your teacher will see that it's done? Select Mark is Done. And now this is now going to show up in the Teacher View Google um, Gradebook section, and I can see that the student has watched the video and which students have not. Why is that important? Uh, you'll know which kids you need to um, nudge a little bit to uh, get their work done. Perhaps you're ready to start a small group instruction and you just want the kids who have watched the video because they're ready. Then you know which kids to pull over to your small group to um, reinforce what was learned in the video. So it's, And then the students have the option to unsubmit as well. So, so that's uh, why I set up the video as Mark is done, the accountability. And then under rocks, we added a graphic organizer. So when we click on that and open it up, uh, you'll ask your students to click on view assignment. And then it opens up the whole page and everything will load properly. But the directions are there, the uh, ability to post a class comment, the ability to post a private comment to the teacher. They can open the assignment up. And then after the assignment has loaded, the students can work directly in this document because we set it up as make a copy for each student. And so up in the title, you'll see there was the title of the assignment, Template for Rocks Graphic Organizer. But it puts the student name out in front of this document. So Demo Users, Template of the Rocks Graphic Organizer.
the student will go ahead and do their work and straight from here in Google Docs they can turn it in by clicking turn in and it wants to ask you know are you wanting to turn in this attachment the answer is turn it in and now it is in the hands of the teacher and the student can click unsubmit if there was a reason they wanted to, to get it back from the teacher they, can, um, they have the option there under unsubmit if the students click on people they can see which teachers have access to the Google Classroom and the students that are in their classroom. And so one final thing I want to share with you is you can teach your students that in Google Classroom they can see a list of all their work and how they're doing and what's done and what's missing and the grades they've received and the comments they've received by clicking on view your work. It'll have the student's name a list of all the different work, the due dates, and whether it's been assigned or if it's been turned in, um, if the teacher is saying it's missing because it's missed a deadline, uh, the grades, and if they click on it, this one an example, and you click it open, you can see the comment thread that has been taking place. There's a view details, so you can get a, a, a bigger picture so, so there, is, there are ways that students can keep track and progress monitor their work in Google Classroom. So, so that's Google Classroom from Student View. I hope you found this helpful and beneficial seeing what it looks like for the students. Have a good day.